dealing with this OBS. It gets like that sometimes. Sorry about it. You know what I'm saying? But let me know if y'all can see me. Let me know if y'all can see me. If, am I back on? So I had a little hiccup. Am I back on, y'all? Uh, okay, we back. We back. Okay, we back. Uh, shout out to the OB uh, the update for OBS because before we'll be out of gas. All right, thank you, baby. I see it. I, I heard you call it. Um, yeah. So uh, for a lot of y'all, y'all didn't see Marcus get run off the uh, internet. Okay, we can see. Okay, cool. All right, yeah. Marcus got ran off, ran out of, got got shot at. We got saw Marcus getting shot at. For y'all didn't see that. Marcus then got shot at out there in the streets. Marcus then ran into one of the real Atlanta Negroes. You know what I'm saying? Pointed that thing at him. As you can see in the thumbnail, for those that don't know, you see Marcus basically, uh, you know what I'm saying, tall dude walking up on him. And Marcus grabbing that piece. So we're going to watch the video together. Shout out to the content creator. Um, and, um, you know, you see his, you see his uh, cash shop. And if you want to give him a little something for the video, then, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and do that. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't no hater. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to send him something myself just because I'm using this video. And there's a few videos that he did, but he did something very important. Now, you can kind of miss what he was showing about Marcus, um, you know, through him, that thug mentality or whatever. But he was really showing y'all the how Marcus goes out. He doesn't go out deep into the streets. He goes to homeless shelters, stands them on, you know what I'm saying, and looks for, like, people he'd pick out of the crowd for these interviews, mainly young women and young men. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into the video. I know that's what y'all came for. And I apologize for the hiccup earlier, but that's just the nature of dealing with technology like this. I know y'all like the pretty colors, so let's get into it. So I'm going to wind it back a little bit. And uh, we're doing a reaction video on it. And uh, let's see if we can do it like this. So, yeah, y'all can see it a lot better there. All right. Oh, no. What you going to shoot? So, rewinding it real quick. As you can see, <laughs> as you can now check this out though, like that can check out cold this is, right? For y'all that y'all don't I've been catching a little nuances, right? You know? So check this out. Right? Check this out. Guess who face he is? Some young girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Mark is in a young homeless girl's face, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you know what I'm saying? Mark is staying in a trick's place, which is in a hoe's face. You know what I'm saying? Well, not No pun intended. I'm not calling her a hoe. Just just being hip hop -ish about it. You know what I'm saying? You know, like what the pimp said, we still going to stay in the pimp's place, which is in a hoe's face. You know what I'm saying? And we know Marcus love them hoes. So let's go ahead and play it. Man, don't be covered up on me like Look. that, man. Look, you're doing too much at this man, point. Fuck what you talking about. Look, what it, look at his hand right here. As the, as the tall dude, like Octavius Prime, and he looking up, okay? He looking up like, you know, he got to look up to me. You know what I mean? He got to look up to me. Okay? All right? He got to look up. As you see, he grabbing on that thing already. Ready to put ready to put this black man down already. So I understand the attitude he got for uh, Miss... Well, I ain't going to call him... can't call him Mr. Marcus, but... Yeah, that's a whole other story. You're doing too much. Nigga, like I said, look like... What you squeeze? What you reaching nah, for that? I ain't reaching. I'm letting you know. Why are you so aggressive, my I'm, nigga? I'm not you're aggressive. You're doing too much, look, man. Look, I'm on live right now. Look. Yeah, I'm glad you're on live. What you mean? You Coming gonna, up you on me? You going to let me do my work? Which, nigga, fuck uh, you, nigga. You was a guy. pussy, boy. You heard me. So you doing a lot of aggressive you a pussy. Yeah, I'm a whole lot of aggressiveness right now. Yeah, back up, nigga. You know what the fuck man. going on. What you gonna shot. shoot me? Let me get away from her. ATB bomb. Pussy ass boy, you a whore, nigga. A whole lot of aggressive talk, nigga. You a bitch. You was a bitch, nigga. 
Yeah, you got me, you nigga. Ho ass nigga. You done? Bitch ass nigga. Is you done? All right. Yeah. Is you done, nigga? No, I ain't done, nigga. Right. Who you got out here trying to embarrass now, nigga? <laughs> you, you see, you got a little show there right now. Hold everybody back. Look like she about a cool uh, a 19, 20 years yeah, old. Let's go back. Down, nigga. You Fuck bad, all that. Man, yeah, they Nobody told me you cleaned your shit up, nigga. Uh -huh. Yeah, your subscribers <laughs> hit me up like he cleaned his shit up, bro. Go look at his shit, bro. He all right. You got anything else to do, man? Man, this nigga ain't all right. Nigga, fuck What's this up, nigga. Fuck you, man. Nah, good, bro. He, he, I don't know what's up. Yeah, don't worry about me, nigga. My back to whoever that. I still hey, don't see who that. No, nah, I don't got to do shit, nigga. I'm on the sidewalk. You back up, nigga. Pussy boy. Right, Let's shoot something. Let's shoot something, nigga. You right. ain't going to shoot nothing, nigga. You a whore, nigga. You a whore. Roll the fuck out, nigga. Go, go, go. Pay that ten dollars, fit twenty dollars, nigga. You need to up it, nigga. Give her fifty, nigga. Hey, listen, let me tell you go buy her some shoes, nigga. Therapy, go friend. buy her some shoes, nigga. Go buy her a jacket or a coat, nigga. Go get her something to eat without asking for sex, look at, nigga. Look at this big grown boy. Don't ask her for sex. Big grown boy, y'all. Big grown boy. Big grown you scared of me? You, you scared of you me, me nigga? Telephone? You reaching for your gun? You reach for your gun? You reach for your gun, nigga? Fuck you talking about, nigga. You a whore. You a whore, nigga. Yeah. Fuck you talking about. Roll out, nigga. Roll out. Don't do it to you now. Don't do it. Shoot that shit, bitch. Shoot that shit, bitch ass nigga. You ain't gonna shoot shit, bitch. Fuck out of here. Get out of here, nigga. Go across the street with that shit, bitch. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, nigga. And I spit on your Jeep, nigga. Fuck out of here. You know, spit on the Jeep, y'all. He know he's safe downtown. That's the courthouse right here. This the police station. You feel me? I done seen so many dead niggas out on this sidewalk. Who Jeep is this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's his tag right there? What? What? This is it right here, bro? Stay in Atlantic Station? I can find this in Atlantic Station, bro? What? This nigga right here, he thought he rolled past me. This nigga thought he rolled past me. Whole ass nigga. That nigga a prostitute himself. That nigga out here prostituting, nigga. Fuck out of here. What you pay her, nigga? What you pay her, 20? What you pay her, $20, nigga? Fuck out of here. Look. Bro. He interviewing everybody now. To, look, he don't even know who, who to talk to. Nigga, ain't nobody talk to out here. Nigga, you got to call the police, nigga. You got to call the police, nigga. Trying to restrain from shooting me. You ain't going to shoot, nigga. Bargain, you, you ain't home. bought that you lot. You ain't never Listen. shot nobody, nigga. It's on camera, nigga. You, you got ran off, nigga. You nobody, bro. This nigga running the people. To, this nigga you done got run. ran off, Marcus. Bro, so we, there ain't nobody that's afraid. The police, nigga. Ain't nobody scared on all black. Talking about, I'm trying to refrain from nigga. No, you ain't hard, nigga. Nigga, you ain't hard, nigga. Fuck out of here. That nigga mad. What you mad now, nigga? I told you this my hood, nigga. Well, that, that nigga, nigga say you, you nigga ain't you ain't running. hard, nigga. Bro, that's not that's the wrong. That's not the police, nigga. Fuck out of here. Talking about Marcus, you ain't hard, nigga. nigga. No, you ain't hard, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you ain't hard. Talking about, I'm trying to refrain from. Nigga, Every no, you ain't that. hard, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you ain't hard, nigga. <laughs> Fuck out of here. That nigga mad. What you mad now, nigga? I told you this my hood, nigga. Fuck out of here. It's my hood, nigga. Fuck out of here. What you gonna do? Tell, call the police. Fuck you talking about. Fuck out of here. Look at him, look at him, y'all. Look at him, there you go. Look at him. Thanks for the cash up, y'all. Really appreciate that. Yeah, that's they sidewalk over there, bro. He can't come over here, bro. He got to stay over there. He don't even know what he's doing, bro. Hey, before we, before we continue, can y'all smash that like button for me, please? You know what I mean? I ain't even asking for no cash apps. All I'm asking for is some like. I don't even know how many of y'all in the building. I got so much going on with this program. So I can't even see that. 
but I'm asking y'all to hit that like button. That's all. You know I me. Mean? I know some of y'all struggling. We got homeless people here. You know what I'm saying? All y'all got is bus fare, bro. Bus fare. You know what I mean? You strounds and get 50 cent. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, can't get 50 cent, but you got a free like button right there. Just smash that for me and we're going to continue it right on. All right? We're going to continue it. All right? Fuck all that. It ain't had nothing to do with old dude yesterday either, so it, it ain't against you, so That nigga tripping. Bro. That nigga trying to get her on camera, bro. He trying to expose the homeless people. Nigga, I'm finna expose this nigga. Fuck out of here. You crazy as hell. That's the second time he done reach for that strap and ain't shoot that shit. Ain't nobody scared of you, nigga. From zone six, nigga. Fuck out of here. Shit, I just started this shit. My uh, my guy who did the, do the exposure got like um 25,000 followers or some shit. Oh uh, shit, add me on Instagram. I got a another one too. Hold on. Hold up, Marcus. Uh, dude ain't snatched the bride from me. He ain't snatched the little chick from me, did he? He ain't knock you, did he? Shout out to uh. A.T. Vaughn, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to him. Let me go ahead and drop his link in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Because, man, we ain't no haters. You know what I mean? Shout out to him for getting this great footage. So I'm going to drop his link in the chat myself. And moderators, y'all, if y'all, because we've been entertained by this footage. But, you know, it's going to be relative moving forward. You know what I mean? All right, so I'll just drop this link. That's his link. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. He only got 500 subs, so y'all make sure y'all hit him up. You know what I'm saying? He right there in Atlanta. And I think he did a post today, so you know what I'm saying? You know, hit the brother up if you feel like you want to cash out, cash out. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it moving from there. And we're going to react to this video, too. Um, This is... Let me make sure what I'm looking at. Um... Uh, I think it's the one where he get the gunshot, the gunshots. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to hit a little gunshots you know, while Marcus outside. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, hey, man, it's really been going down there in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? They say Atlanta still got some real niggas stuff, man. This nigga was scared to death, bro. <laughs> Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, y'all heard of gunshots, so we're gonna start it from the top. We're gonna start it from the top. And uh Niggas see me out here all day, every day. It's gonna be a different story, bro. Everybody out here got guns, bro. It's crazy. Every single body. Mm. It won't shoot that shit. Swear to God, they won't. See, you be outside. This niggas really willing to you hit. Probably pull that, you ain't no mo. You trying pull, to pull that yourself. gun out and no really threat, use nigga. it. What you mean, so, You the one with the gun, nigga. Mm. You heard me. You niggas scared, nigga. You niggas scared of me, nigga. Mm. Fuck out of here, trying to embarrass my people. Like, do it then, nigga. You scared. Everybody know you scared. Look. That nigga scared to death, bro. Is that him? No, that might not be him. Yeah, man. I'm going to have a I don't know. Go ride past me to do something. That's what everybody say. Nigga, riding past. Yeah, that's that's right style's icon. The battle's right, on. It really go down in the hood, man. Tripping. It really go down in the hood, man. This nigga holler, you go if I shoot you. This nigga just holler to me. If I shoot you, you gonna put it on YouTube. Nah, nigga, I'm gonna take it off of there. 
bro. This nigga how if he gonna see. Bro, you know where I'm at, nigga. Nigga, you know where I'm at, nigga. I finally caught up with this nigga, right? This nigga went straight. This nigga went straight to his trap. He ended his he ended his interview and everything, nigga. Went straight to his trap, nigga. Respect, you better respect me out here, bro. This nigga go, this nigga will see where I'm at, ride past me and go do an interview around the corner. Soon as I walked up on him, I took my mask off like that. And he ended his interview. Tried to shake my hand, you heard? Bro, this nigga was scared to death, bro. This nigga was scared to death, bro. Going down. It's going down. Look, hey, look. Hey, look, bro. I don't mean, hey, you are, hey, he was doing the interview with this dude right here, bro. Hey, man. So y'all go check his interview out on dude page. Feel me? It's people who come out here every day with food, nigga. You ain't come out here with no food, nigga. Every week, nigga, nigga, come out here every week, nigga. On this, like this, bro. You ain't doing this shit, bro. You giving these niggas five, ten dollars, bro. And you banking off these niggas off your channel, bro. It's not right. You feel me? They spend their money. You out here, you not spending no money, bro. You paying people for sex, bro. You finding people out here and paying them for sex, bro. Yeah. That's what you're doing, nigga. All your little gay friends hit me up, nigga. I All right, now check it out. So he making accusations about it being this is a this video is about a year ago. So as you see, this is a year ago. The accusations about uh, let me let y'all see my face. So this the accusation has been about a year ago. For those that can't see, this video is over a year old. What we're talking about, uh, Marcus having sex with the homeless. It's already been put out about a year ago. You know what I'm saying? Smaller YouTubers, people that weren't getting that much traction, people really from the streets. As you see, bro, he really from the streets. Um, you know, they already put out these accusations and even bro talking about there may be some gay activity, but that's his accusation. I don't know. And I'm not calling him a liar. I don't know that, but this accusation he making. So if it, I'm going to wind it back just a little bit for y'all to hit that little bit right there. You know what I'm saying? And you banking off these niggas off your channel, bro. It's not right. You feel me? They spend their money. You out here. You not spending no money, bro. You paying people for sex, bro. You finding people out here and paying them for sex, bro. Yeah. That's what you doing, nigga. All your little gay friends hit me up, nigga. I swear the dude out of like $200 all, the, all together, bro. Hey, he still far. He just hit me up last night and said he want dick pic. I told him to pay for it. See if I can get a hundred from this nigga. You heard me? I'm not playing with you, nigga. Fuck out of here. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find something on the internet and send him something off the internet. These niggas goofy out here, bro. Them niggas scared of me, bro. He said. Them niggas scared. Look. It's people come out here every day with food, bro, and I eat good, bro. I'm hurting too, nigga. I'm struggling too, nigga. I need this shit. This shit be good, nigga. You stupid or dumb. Fuck out of here for everybody. I need that shit. All right, as y'all see that, you know what I mean? Um... You know, we hear the accusations about homosexuality. Marcus may be dipping into the, you know what I'm saying, the chocolate pond or whatever from time to time. That's what, that's the accusation that he's making. Um, and also, I want to show you all another video, and I'm going to drop the link. And, uh, you know, if Marcus, if you're out there listening, you're more than welcome to hit the link. And, uh, you know, we can have that conversation that you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? But we just put it out there. It was already been put out there. You know what I mean? That tough guy, bad boy shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, 
niggas running up on you, niggas pulling out guns, niggas gunfire, all that shit. It's, it's not going down like that, bro. So, uh, we did, I did, we did do some research. You know what I'm saying? Let me share this. We did do some research, and we found out, like, Kiki's been talking about this Atlanta after, you know, this Atlanta street interviews after dark thing. All right? And we go to that part of the video. All right? And shout out to Celebrity News Reports. This is our reaction video. And um, make sure y'all go ahead and sub to these channels. So this is Celebrity News Reports right here. And I'll drop a link in the chat for y'all if y'all want to watch it on your own at some point, the full uh, interview. But I wanna, I'm going to show y'all the tail end. And then after that, I'll drop that link for y'all. All right. Because, you know, we, we're going to give people that credit. You know what I mean? Most definitely. All right. So let's go. And let's play a little bit of this. I wanted to talk about the violation because, you know, it can be embarrassing. But hey, it's just a theory that I thought of. So after all of these negative comments that Marcus was getting about asking women these personal and intimate questions, mm. he started this new series now to justify him asking these questions to these women. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with our After Dark series. So guys, I asked... After Dark. So he was getting criticized. Let's look how old this is. This is a year ago, y'all. This is a year ago. People have already been kind of criticizing him about what he's been doing. And as you see, a year ago, old boy was being criticized so much about the salacious uh, questions about, you know, how you've been, uh, you know, uh, monopolized. Some people say I violated as my family, incest stories, going to find detail about it. So much so that his mindset is that he know people. When I told y'all over on Kiki's channel, and I may have said it on my channel, is that Marcus knows there's a market for deviant stories. YouTube has a whole market for it where people are getting tens of thousands of views talking about these deviant stories. Uh, and sadly, some young women are making channels basically talking and going and find detail about supposed violations of themselves. So, you know, and that's part of his crowd. He knows that. So this is a this shows that his his mindset that this is a after dark series. This is for people to basically listen to these stories about these unfortunate people uh, having a hard life, you know what I'm saying, dealing with uh, trauma, drug abuse, mental issues, all that stuff that could be based off, a lot of it could be the trauma that's playing out in their life right now by far as them being homeless, having the mental issues, the drug issues, things of that nature. It could be the precursor to all these trauma. But there's people getting off on that, and he named it After Dark. So we're going to go ahead and play that and let y'all hear that. But I want to give y'all some understanding of what y'all watching. All right. After Dark series, we talk to ladies of the night. And so the questions are going to be a little more geared towards that. So you see the way he tries to justify him asking these types of questions. But for those of you who do not believe Monique's story, just help me understand this. Why would he delete the video that he did of her after being exposed? Knowing that it would garner in so many views. Probably millions of views because people are now talking about it. And he would make a lot of money off of it. There has to be some truth to this. It has to be. But hey, guys, let me know what y'all think about this situation. Again, y'all, make sure y'all subscribe to Celebrity News Reports. You know what I mean? That's where we got this video from. And uh, at this point, I'm going ahead and drop the link uh, for, first for Kiki, you know what I mean? And then for anyone else that want to have, uh, have something to say, even Marcus or any of his uh, cronies, you know what I'm saying? Y'all more than welcome to hit the link. All right.
So the link is dropped at this time. All right, the link is dropped at this time, and um, you know, I'm asking for like uh, Kiki if she wants to come up. Or if anybody else have a, a opinion about what was said tonight, and we, I have other videos too. Uh, and I'm pretty sure y'all saw the video of Lolly uh, talking about, you know, the little girl. This it goes to show there's a there's things that are like tied into this story. The puzzles is coming together when it comes down to um, Marcus and why he's out there. So when you listen to the, the story about Lolly and Lolly talks about what Marcus was into, she claims that she was sexual with him. All right, I got Kiki in the back. All right, what's going on, babe? Hey, yeah. So basically, um, he's always threatening people, you know, with this little piece, and he's always talking about acting like he wants to pull up and acting all tough, and like yeah. he's running across the street. He's always snitching. He snitched on a fourteen-year-old. Talking about, did I just snitch? <laughs> Knowing that he loves to snitch. Like, and then he wants to act like that, you know, he basically went live today with all that gaslight and talking about that he wants to stay for, away from the drama, knowing good and dang on well that we didn't have no drama with him. We were just really giving our opinion over the shows, over the dating life that he put online. He dropped down in my life with the drama, with his personal insults and attacks against us, and then wants to go live like he didn't do anything. Just like he went around there and gaslighted um, Sonny to sit over here and come live and say that she uh, overreacted and everything was her fault and he didn't do anything. Well, guess what? I'm not being manipulated like that. I'm not going for it. My mind is stronger than that. You dropped down. You sat there and you tried to body shame us. Not only that, you called my man a simp, which was hella disrespectful. So now we're showing everybody how you got disrespected out in Atlanta on the streets, Mr. Atlanta Street interview. And then you ran to Arizona to start doing your After Dark series. I guess that didn't work out for you. Didn't really pick up that well. So now you're back in Atlanta. The guy on the street said that that guy was a homeless guy that he interviewed. That guy said that he was paying the ladies for sex, looking for sex. Yeah. Yeah, several ladies that come on here and say that he paid them for sex. So how was this Kiki's fault? That it's your not. truth, you it's you not. came on here and you basically did a live and you admitted to everything. You admitted to impregnating another young lady. You went over there, love bombed this uh this girl, this disabled girl, took her out. Now her heart is broken. All online, she's crying, deleting videos. She deleted the video that she did today, but of course, several channels. <laughs> got the video uh, including mine and you want to act like that you don't see anything that you're doing is wrong like clean up your channel just stop what why do you got to ask those sexual questions like that why yeah i mean we see we see the commonality in it you know what i mean like lolly was saying that you know bro was uh you know ha we have a sex when he wants to be degraded so even like for those that don't know history and even up until this day, there's a, a market for people that feel like they're more superior to a group of people. You know what I mean? And they want to have sex with a lesser group. It's called race play or it's any form of humiliation. I'm better than you, but me getting down and having sex with you, it degrades me. I'm now here really doing something nasty. So, he had Lolly degrading him and then also into this little girl thing so that ties it to this is what she is saying, okay? And we and we it's like, why are you asking these type of questions? It shows that hey, you have a motive behind this. This ain't just and uh go ahead. Man. Yeah, no, I was just gonna piggyback mm -hmm. off this and say he is the one that even brought the word fetish to mind when it comes to Sunny, that was something that he said. He said, do guys have a fetish? Like, these are all of his words. Like, I don't understand. The dude does all this stuff and then acts like that. We have a problem because we see a problem with it. You got men seeing a problem with it. You got women seeing a problem with it. You got his interviewees seeing a problem with it. When he asked Sunny those questions, she was like, what? Like, she was really upset at first, him asking her all those questions. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because and then at the end of the day, 
And I'm not going to tie Marcus into being some kind of like saying that he's a predator doing anything illegal. But there's some things. Prostitution is illegal last time I checked, but okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, prostitution. Solicitation, yeah, solicitation solic- of prostitution. Soliciting prostitution. Exactly, right? <laughs> but Excuse me, sorry. One of the things, of, one of the things people, they want to, they, like a lot of times people target women with low self-esteem, children with low self-esteem, people that are not in a position to uh, defend themselves financially, uh, socially, in, a, in, a, in multiple ways. And it makes it easier for them as a predator to have their way with that, with those victims. You know what I mean? And that's kind of like, you know, getting with someone, being attracted to a certain type of person that is, uh, that, that doesn't have the same type of, uh, let's just say, capabilities as the average woman. You know what I mean? Or average man, woman, whatever. You know what I mean? It puts you in an ultra power position where and whereas, you know what I'm saying, this person doesn't have that many options for one. For two, you know what I mean? It's like either they get down or they lay down. You know what I mean? It's either this or I'm going to be outside in 30 degree weather in Atlanta in the middle of the winter. You know what I'm saying? And Or I get to take this $10. I don't take the $10 and keep my integrity and morals and not talk about salacious stuff about my past or name people from my family or whatever, uh, tie them into some stuff. And I may even be lying just to try to keep something going because I'm trying to run a hustle or an angle or a game, you know? And so for that, and thank you for the super chat, who that is? Uh, clips. Clips. How you doing? Thanks, Clips. Shout out to you. Um, uh, for the super chats, thank you for super chat. Uh, shout out to all of y'all. Um, and so for that, for the, they put people, in, they love people in a weak position, and that's the main thing. And that's the scary thing about. It. That's why even this guy, the, the the so-called thug dude, knew better. You know when he seen Marcus in some young girl's face. You know what I'm saying? Ask, get ready to ask some questions about her trauma. Where you living? How, what's your living situation? Oh, can you go home? The, even the thing asking, like, can you go home? And I was even tell, telling Kiki, it was it's a lot of homosexuals out here, like in every big major city, especially like in Miami, Atlanta, New York. It's a lot of people living in their car. There's a lot of people down on their luck. A lot of people have impulse issues where they can't stop spending. You know what I mean? Like we're looking at somebody that he interviewed recently. That may be one of their problems, you know, why they're homeless, uh, where they might just overspend or whatever, and they sleep in their car, live in their car, and a lot of them just looking for a hotel and somewhere, somewhere that's warm and cozy to lay. And there are men, especially men in the upper, in the middle age, that know these type of situations, and they out there to take advantage. And as a matter of fact, I was. When I said the word Mr. Marcus yesterday, in my YouTube algorithm, it brought up these interviews from, uh, and I'm going to do a reaction to that soon, but it brought up these interviews that were talking about Mr. Marcus, the porn star, the real porn star, and also it tied into Brian Pumper. Now, the, the male porn stars, I think it was an interview with Nat, Turn her, that's his name. He was talking about how what they look down on is men going, men in, this, in the sex industry going out and finding young girls and getting on trains and bus, and standing out on trains and bus stop with jewelry on, looking clean, and then inviting them into the lifestyle, knowing that these girls are most likely down on their luck. And that's how he, even Brian Pumper, ended up getting the disease and got kicked out of the porn industry. So even a porn industry looks down on that type of behavior, like taking 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 advantage of the, of the disadvantage. So that's how sleazy this is. This is an old game that's just being repeated by Marcus. It's been repeated by pimps. Pimps talk about uh, even in the book, the pimp by Iceberg Slim. The pimps in the seventies, the forties, and sixties would go to bus stops 
Thank you. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry. Mocha is acting up. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm trying to be. Mocha is acting up. Mocha, stop. <laughs> no, what's she saying? Uh, oh my gosh, she's saying a whole lot of stuff. Mocha is so. <laughs> Just go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I'm okay. Sorry. Yeah, so they. Yeah, so they. Uh, I think it was uh, Don Magic One. Don Magic One talked about how he would go to the bus stops to find girls. You know what I'm saying? Young girls to get into the game. And. Uh, it's just it's just one of those things that's just been around it's been around for a long time. And that's how a lot of women get turned out in these industries, porn industries, prostitution, uh ex trafficking, things of that nature. And it's sleazy because what he's sleazy what he's doing because he's a cousin to a lot of dark stuff that goes on that it gets even worse down the line for these type of men that do this type of stuff. Mm. So what's on your mind, baby? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, Pastor Prime. They, they, they are trying to be good. This, this your chat is cutting up. Oh, uh, what they saying? Because I didn't see it. They, uh, you know, Cree is in there acting bad. They talking about his tongue. They talking about his skin. <laughs> talking Who tongue is skin? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mark. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm hey. sorry, but yeah, I, you got a great message. No, I did not. I'm trying to just like, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just That's, try hey, to talk about it. Better. Talk about it. Just let me do that. Marcus said y'all doing too much. <laughs> talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but no, yeah, it's just yeah, you're right, you're right about the uh, and uh, Donald Goins was was mentioning some good, I think, books, but yeah, like it's I don't like, you know, like I was on Benji channel last night. If y'all haven't checked out that interview, check it out. And he asked me like, what I wish to see for the channel, and I said, you know, I really wish that he would, you know, stop asking those questions. He's got a big enough platform to where he can partner with some of these organizations and you know get these people help. But I said that before I knew the information that you just presented to us. The information that you just presented us shows that he's meeting these people right next to the homeless shelter, so they're already getting help. They're there to get shelter. So when oh, yeah. you take them out of the line of the shelter or from right there in the shelter to put them in a hotel, which we've only seen them do that with one person, or put them in your bed, they're in line to be in the shelter. And I checked out some of these shel shelters. It's a lot of channels online with the shelters. And not every shelter is the same. But a lot of the shelters, like this one shelter in New York, it had it was like, and then there were other shelters around the country like this. It was like everybody gets their own room. Uh -huh. It was like an old hotel that they turned into a shelter. So everybody had a key yeah. to their room. Everybody had their own room. They had a little refrigerator in their room. Uh, they had their closet. They had their bathroom. The only thing that they had to do was go down in the lobby, and they're provided with food. So they're provided with food. They're provided with shelter. That's how, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just going to say it. That's how Candy is able to go on all of these vacations and stuff like that. Because basically, she's living rent-free in a hotel. Yeah, yeah. Not saying that it's the best of conditions, but it used to be a hotel. She's, so she's probably in her own private room. That's why we used to see her do the little TikTok videos or whatever. When we think about shelters, we think that it's like a prison, right? We think that there are cots and beds just all in a row and that's it. I don't think it's like that in 2024. It may be in some shelters, but uh, a lot of them now you have, especially when they're trying to transition you to an apartment, you have a space uh, that's just like one room, but it has you know a bed or two in it. Kind of like uh, maybe a dorm room like in the army that's the same type of setup that um a college dorm room is it's the same type of setup that the um, barracks are like if you're in the army same thing right so soldiers in the army uh students in college they're not paying rent neither of those groups are paying rent right they're in the barracks they're in the um i forgot the dorm rooms it's the same thing and then you're while you're working you should be saving your money because while you're in that shelter, you can get vouchers for childcare and all of that stuff. You have case managers and all these people, you have these referral services to these programs. So if you really want to come up out of there, um, it may take, 
you know, the, you have to go through the process, but you could come up out of there. In the meanwhile, you can't be taking all these lavish vacations and all that kind of stuff. What it leads me to believe, and I have no proof of this, someone asks why she can't go stay with family member or why a lot of these people can't go stay with family members. Well, if you're taking, if you're living in the shelter rent free and you're not hustling hard to work as much as you can, but you're taking vacations, what it leads me to believe is that if I stay with you and I charge you a minimal amount of rent so that I can help you get on your feet. Meanwhile, I'm doing what I can, busting my butt to make ends meet, to pay my bills in my house. You're going to be paying the bare minimum with your extra money. You're going to be buying luxury bags, buying luxury cars, going on luxury trips and spas and doing whatever you want. Meanwhile, I'm going to be sitting there feeling some type of way because I thought you're supposed to be saving money so you could get up out of here. So that's why yeah. you have to look at the, you know, the whole situation before you say, oh, let me just give this person all my hard earned money. We don't know. And again, we're looking at these people that are sitting right outside of a shelter. I thought that he was actually going around finding people. You're on this corner. You're on that corner. But no, he's right outside the shelter. So that's why he doesn't have to give any referral. He will look crazy saying did you know there's a shelter on 15 when they're standing right in front of the shelter on 52nd? That makes no sense. But now it all makes sense. Go ahead. Yeah. Babies. Yeah. This is like, uh, like the other day I do walking y'all. So y'all, I don't know if y'all know who I am, but I, sometimes I do walking videos going, coming from back and forth from the gym. And, um, the other day, maybe about a, about a few weeks ago, um, I was walking past the Salvation Army and they had like a soup kitchen. It was out there giving out clothes and things of that nature. And it's a lot more of the clean cut homeless people or people that's more down on their luck, shooting bad, or I would say more, um, that are at those soup kitchens and getting like uh, clothes, free clothes, free blankets, especially during the wintertime. And this is the type of scenario. So this is where he's going to walk, look at who's in that crowd. You know what I'm saying? Um, to, you know, pick them out and say, okay, you know, what's good? You know, like some churches even give out free food. Like it's a few churches around here. They give out free food twice a week. And you'll see the same long lines like this. So let's play a little bit of it. And I want to play so Kiki gets here too. But just a little bit of it. Just to tell you. Yeah, so the guy, same guy, A.T. Vaughn, is showing y'all, you know, where Marcus is picking these people up. Right here. So let's listen to a little bit of it and watch a little bit of it. I'll meet it. Nigga, nigga come out here every week, nigga. So he just admitted he come out. Marcus come out there every week. All right, I'm gonna wind it back a little bit. Boo, nigga. Every week, nigga, nigga come out here every week, nigga. On this, like this, bro. You ain't doing this shit, bro. You giving these nigga five, ten dollars, bro. And you banking off these niggas off your channel, bro. It's not right. You feel me? They spend their money. You out here and you not spending no money, bro. You paying people for sex, bro. You finding people out here and paying them for sex, bro. Yeah, that's what you do. No. no. Let me let me Go just ahead. say this right quick, yeah, right quick. Got it. The thing about it is, we see this video, and you see these people. A lot of them, you can see the hopelessness, you can see the despair in the way, in in their body language, right? Their posture, the looks on their faces. You have to understand. These people are tired. Some of them don't suffer from men any mental illness or anything like that at all. They were just like me and you and whatever unfortunate situation happened. And it got them standing in this line with a lot of people that do suffer from mental illness on an extreme level. But they got to listen to all that screaming. They got to deal with pe people that have feces all over them that just, you know, have lost it to the point that they don't even know any better to clean themselves up or whatever but they still got to stand in the same line in order to just to get something to eat and then on top of that while they're down at this very level you want to come and put a camera in their face with no way out leave them right there at that same shelter leave them right there at that same food line with ten dollars that's gonna buy what these days a snapple <laughs> hey Man. Listen, ten dollars well, these days won't buy two loaves of bread. You know and that's how sad that is. So this man is literally y'all sitting around stalking 
Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just hear uh, the brother's uh, commentary on it real quick. And he's standing, he's looking at these sad people downtrodden. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're going through it. Some of, a lot of them will get out of it. You know, we, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't talking down on nobody. You know what I mean? Um, and also, you see lines like this at pantries too, the church pantries and whatever. So, but he's standing there stalking uh, a lot of downtrodden pe people and looking for young girls he can pick out of that crowd. Yeah, that's what you're doing, nigga. All your little gay friends hit me up, nigga. I swindled a dude out of like two hundred dollars out of. All so we we went through that already, but I wanted to show y'all that line. I didn't show y'all the like. For those that didn't catch it, this is a line of people. This is where he getting people. And some of these people may be even unemployed. You know what I mean? Who knows? It could be the line of the Salvation Army, the pantry. You know what I mean? They may be unemployed waiting for food stamps to come through. So they're waiting on they're getting a few loaves of bread and some butter or eggs. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? But that's sad. They you know, come at a person in, a, in such a low state. While at, same Clint, while at the same time claiming that you're making about $10,000 plus a month from YouTube. You know I mean? And then you, claiming that you're doing so much for them. I'm giving them a platform where someone may see them. Well, they can go on their social media account. Their families, I'm sure, know that they're out there. Um, you had the la young lady last night. Um, he said for her to look at the camera and say, you know, what does she think her mom would uh, say? And she said um, she'd probably be surprised I'm alive that I'm still out here. Well, the thing about it is, for whatever reason, they have lost contact. Mm -hmm. But in this day and age, it's more likely than not that somebody in her family or friends or somebody that she grew up around has social media that anytime she can click on their social media account if she really needed or wanted to get a message over to her mom. It wouldn't have to be through a random YouTube channel where she's talking about molestation, molestation happening, happening by, by her, her mom's, mom's father. father. Um, her, her own, own father, father and, and her, her stepfather, stepfather, which um, we don't know if these allegations are true or not. We don't know. So then you have people that can also see this. And now they're looking at her mom some type of way, because why would you subject your daughter to this? So it just opens up a whole lot of hurt and pain for a whole lot of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With with no resources, with nothing to cope or deal with it. Yeah, and, and the thing is, what we're doing, you know, like people ask, I think people are being hard or I, I, I didn't catch the full interview that she did today and I'm going to watch it, man. but I think people are like asking why are we being so critical of Marcus in the first place? Uh, did they hear the questions that he was asking? Because this is exploit. I'm just answering us. We're witnessing exploitation. Okay. Exploitation. And um, I also, I think it came up today, well, it did come up today, where Sonny is asking Marcus why he won't fire his head moderator. Well, Marcus, I've been in that situation with Vibes Queen. Vibes Queen was moderator over here. She was the, the head moderator for a while, um, for about six months over here, about five or six months. And um, me and Kiki are the ones that gave her some notoriety. I mean, that's the truth. She was known just just a chatter, but when she came over here, she started her channel. We got we helped her channel grow. Oh wow, babe. Okay, uh, just highlight deja, deja vu's uh, comment. But go ahead, go ahead about vibes screen. But I just don't want you to skip over that. Did okay. that really happen? The girl who uh, he just incriminated asked Marcus under her lock. Yeah, let me go, let me go back. Oh. All right. The girl he just incriminated asked Marcus under her live in the comment section to please put her live down. So he did. I haven't seen him take anything down. But um, yeah, so go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. So you know anything about that? No, go, you go and get spot. No. No, um, the thing about it is people like you're not supposed to get them to do things under duress 
or stressful situations. And I would say that being homeless, especially if you're outside and you have kids, you're absolutely under duress and you're absolutely in a stressful situation. So you might not be making the best decisions and it's our responsibility to make the best oh, decisions or, or, you know. I, th I think we have uh, Atlanta television in the, in, the, the link is pinned if you want to come up. And uh, that's the guy that, uh, yeah, he's in he's Oh, in the okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Y'all make sure y'all sub, sub to him. And uh, y'all make sure y'all sub to his channel. You know what I'm saying? You're more than welcome to hit the link. And tell us what you know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what we didn't see on camera, if you would like. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, uh, for the moderators, please drop it. You see him in the chat. Um, make sure you uh, get his link. Drop it. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, serving is worth his hire. Me. Yeah, and thank you for sharing that footage. Uh, we wouldn't have never known if it had not been for your footage, so we appreciate that. Okay, he said he in the shelter. So, uh, and y'all seen his cash app? You know what I'm saying? Drop his cash app. You know, make sure y'all give him a little something for his time. And subscribe to his and channel. Subscribe, and subscribe to his channel, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? We really appreciate you uh, being a truth teller and protecting those... Uh, he said he can't right now. He's in the shelter. But shout out to you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're looking out for that sister. You know what I'm saying? Um, the best that you could. And you're being wise enough to see that. You know what I mean? And we need black men like you and men in general, whether they be black, white, or Hispanic, you know what I'm saying, to you know put a stop and show. And it just goes to show men like him, you know, way y'all want to call him a thug or whatever he miss he maybe and this guy's misunderstood because he does have a good heart. He's looking out for that sister. They say that a lot about no one's out here protecting the sisters. When you see somebody out there getting in people's face that are exploiting these these people are instead are in sensitive, uh desperate conditions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He said he didn't want to talk. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, just uh, hit me up on the Instagram, and we'll set up a lot. We'll set up a lot with me and you'll talk. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk when you, whenever you're ready. We'll talk. You know what I mean? Well, I drop your I, Instagram uh, handle over there. Mm -hmm. Or what is his? Is what's your Instagram so that uh, Octavia his, his can Instagram read is on the video? So I hit him up. Oh, so okay. Up. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. So anything else you want to say, babe? I think we had a good show. Yeah, I just want to thank everybody mm -hmm. for, um, you know, coming over and um, seeing the truth being exposed because um, that's all it is, is the truth. Nobody's trying to harm anybody. Uh, change behavior is the best behavior. So um, really to get all the noise to stop, all that he would have to do is stop being inappropriate. He can still do the same thing. He's still going to get the same amount of views. People are still going to like to hear people's story to see, you know, what's out there. People are still going to want to help, but you can't be inappropriate with people. It's just not acceptable. And exactly. if you put it on YouTube, no matter who you are, we're going to talk, talk about it. Yeah, we're going to be definitely going to talk about it. All right. So uh, the link was pinned. We didn't, we didn't have Mark. Marcus didn't pull up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think he have a have, have a phobia of us tall men. Ain't that right, brother? You know what I'm saying? Um, and women. Yeah, and it's women too. It's tall <laughs> women. It's all. Yeah, I guess he have a, he has a phobia of us. So uh, the link was pinned pretty much the whole, like half the show, and you know you was more than welcome to come up, give your point of view, and uh, refute whatever we're saying. If we out here lying and and saying things against you. And you want to be a victim? I'm not the one out here saying this. Like you have a whole chart record before Kiki and Octavius was out here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, exploiting the homeless. We got people downtown, foot, foot, foot uh, feet on the ground for real, uh, exposing you. You know the video. It did well. You know what I'm saying back then. But you know what I'm saying. Hey, we actually got people out there really watching. So y'all make sure you subscribe to the brother and. That's really watching, you know, saying what he's doing. Matter of fact, let me drop this link again. Let me drop this link again. And so this is the video right here. 
So this is the the video that we should show y'all the homeless people online. Click that link, subscribe to his channel, look out for any of his new content. He's an independent content creator, you know what I'm saying? He's a precursor to the street sector. So shout out to him and welcome over here, you know what I'm saying? And matter of fact, we go ahead and put you as a moderator. But yeah, reach out to me, brother, and we'll talk. All right. Yeah, y'all make sure that y'all subscribe. Uh, put your notification on for both the channels. Yes, we cover Atlanta Street interviews, but this is the street sector. We're going to be covering the streets, period. So oh. you're going to be getting lots of good content out of us. And also, like, we have a whole love story. Like, hello. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> pretty soon, y'all, we're going to be together. We're going to be together, and uh, it's going to be beautiful. We're going to be here in the Palm Beaches. We're going to go to all the little tri county. We might even hit Orlando, depending. So, who yeah, knows? we're gonna. We probably go to Key Largo. We probably mm -hmm. go to Orlando, Miami, um, just all of those little beachy places. So we might be in the Florida Keys yeah. again. You never know. Stay tuned. That's coming we're up gonna, real soon. We're gonna have a lot of fun. I met. I met up with a. I, I ran into a music video today. Young rapper, about twenty-two years old, named Majin, and I just talked to him. Tonight, that's why I was late for this live tonight. And um, you know, I'm from the the hardest part of West Palm Beach, and they, you know, it's, it's video of uh, gangsters and thugs. You know what I'm saying? I, I knew a lot of those guys, grew up with them. You know what I'm saying? It's old video, but that's that's my era, right? But you know, talk to the young guy. He from the same city, and uh, you know, he's a uh, you know, it's looking like me and him are going to have a conversation here on the channel. So we're gonna, I'm going to do an interview with that. And I'm going to start talking to a few local people, too. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get up out of here, y'all.